Hello, and welcome to the third video in the series about Helm, the package manager for Kubernetes, and how the code works. This is for if you need to uh, understand how the code functions or, and you possibly want to get into contributing to Helm. In this video, we're going to talk about testing inside of Helm. If you want to create a pull request for Helm or create a change in Helm, whether it's to add a feature or fix a bug, you're likely going to be asked to add a test for that because we have uh, large test coverage for the code base in Helm and we want to increase and improve that over time. And any issues that are found, we want to make sure there aren't regressions somewhere along the line. So in this video, we're going to talk about testing. Now there's a couple of different areas where you will see testing show up. One of the first areas that we should look at is in the internal package. This is Helm internal functionality that's not part of the client and not exported as part of the library, but it's still something we want to use and share amongst the code base here. And in this code base, we have a package called test. And this is where Helm's testing functionality, uh, its specific packages to help with the tests shows up. In here, there's a testing.go, and this file has some things such as a test interface, uh, some functions for dealing, you'll see golden bytes and golden strings and golden files, and we'll cover more of that in just a minute. But it's a way of running tests against Helm where you compare what you get in Helm to what we call golden output, and that's output that's been generated in the correct environment uh, so you can run your test against to make sure there were no changes. And this will catch things, maybe doc string changes, things like that that were put in that the tests need to be up, uh, updated for. But there's a lot of functionality here. In fact, one of the things you'll see here in this is an update flag. So when the golden files are going to be updated, you can actually run go test with dash update. And there is a make target for this as well that will update the golden images because instead of just testing against them, it will update them. And so that needs to be done just in a proper environment. But we've built that up so that way the tests and the golden images can be updated. But this is a helper package. And along with this is an insure package. And the insure package is used to help ensure temp directories and Helm Home and things like that are properly set up for the tests along the way. Then you'll see there is a test data directory at the top. This test data directory is used for places where certificates are needed for dealing with uh, chart repository testing or other things that require certificates. These are dummy certificates that can be used just for the tests and nothing else. The other tests are right alongside the code. And the test itself you'll see in command helm. This is the tests for the application commands themselves. So when you're using the helm client. So if you want to go do something like dependency build, there's dependency build test. And dependency build test tests the commands that are in dependency build. And when you come into here, you'll see there's different things. Test dependency build command. This is where the command is built. And you'll see that in order to do a build, you need things like servers where you can pull charts from in order to do some of these builds. And so the test starts off by setting up uh, testing servers. In this case, there is a server for the traditional Helm repository, and there's a server for Helm or for OCI registries that charts can go in. And you'll see there's names here. And then we create the metadata and we do the setup for the test. The Helm experiment for OCI is turned on because the OCI registries is an experiment. And then we come into creating the chart testing chart that'll be used. You're going to see a lot of this is programmatic. And then we create the command. And this is an interesting part of the tests. The command you'll see is this is what would be passed in if you were running Helm as a binary, Helm, dependency build, and then some other things. You'll see everything after the Helm is here to create the command. And that's turned into a string with the uh, locations for the repository cache and repository config. This would all tell Helm normally where to find things. And then it's passed into this uh, function called execute action command. And we'll take a look at this because this is a special testing function. And this testing function, if you start digging down into it, uh, and you start digging down into the functions upon functions upon functions, let's see if we can, 
this function here, what you have is something that will take that command and run it through Helm. And it's going to do things like set up action config, uh, configuration that we talked about in the first or the second video. And it sets this up in a manner just for testing. And then it'll create a root command and set up the configuration this way. And, and it'll set up the namespace and everything for testing. And then it will execute that build command. And so what this does is this allows us to run a command through a testing environment with a testing setup and then see the output. And then the output, we can do things like string contains. Uh, we can look at what was in that output and compare it to what we expect. And it, the actual command under the hood can be run against dummy background caches and servers in order to really test the application and make sure that this command worked properly. In this case, we do everything right through checking the provenance of files, uh, checking index. All this can be done for testing the build command. And this works this way for each of the different commands. So you'll find get, get all, uh, get hooks test. Each one of these is going to have uh, the commands and the testing. Now here is another test and we're looking at the get hooks command. Now this normally lists hooks for a chart. And this is another type of command and you're gonna see some special things here. So test get hooks, it looks like a normal testing command and we set up some commands here. And so we've got a name, we've got a command and this command again is what you'd run with Helm. Helm get hooks uh, and this is the name of the chart or the, I'm sorry, the name of the release. And here is a release mock for this and enemies. And you can see here we've got this. And now here this golden, this is what we talked about before. Golden get hooks, output get hooks, right? So we go and we can come over here and there's a directory in test data output and you will find that hook here. So get hooks, you can look here and this is what the golden output would look like for that if it were run. And that's where that update flag that I talked about earlier will show up. And so we have golden files and those golden files tell us uh, what the output should look like. And then we can, in this case, we'll come to the test hooks test. And so we have the location of the golden and we have a release here. And if we want errors true, otherwise it's false. And this is passed into the run test command. This command here will actually run the tests and do setup and teardown. So this has a helper and it ranges over the test, creating storage fixtures, creating everything we need, then executing the command and then it'll make sure that the output from the command matches the golden image that we had in those files. And so this is an opportunity, did Helm generate the correct output? And then we can find out whether Helm is currently, you know, if there's an error in the output, even a space or an extra character, uh, those kinds of little changes to the output can be caught and compared to the golden. And then when we do need to update, we have the dash update flag that can be used to notice this. And these are helper functions that help us along the way in writing many of the Helm tests. Now, these things work for Helm itself, the command. But then we also have a package directory with a library. And we'll cover more of this in a future video. But each one of these, whether we're talking about the downloader or the CLI or chart util or getters, each of these will have their own tests. So where you're going to have something where the functionality is written, right alongside it, you'll have a test file that has the tests for it. And in here you will find, instead of more integration and fully functioning tests for the whole client, here you'll find it just for this specific piece of functionality using more traditional Go testing methodologies, just using testing T. Occasionally you'll see things in here like asserts and we pull in a package for that. But it's, it's just standard Go testing in each of these packages. And you'll find that along with unique test data for each package where test data is needed for each of the things that show up in the library. And so you'll just find there's test functions all over the place and that's where the tests live. And so that's hopefully a brief intro into testing. Uh, anytime you create a, a pull request and add a new feature or fix a bug, uh, it's best to put a test in alongside of that because you're likely gonna get a maintainer who's gonna ask you for one of those tests. So hopefully this helped you learn a little bit about Helm testing.